So I sent Mira back to the Storm Coast to claim a logging stand that we had missed, and while she was there, she found some Grey Warden artifacts, so we should return those to Blackwall. Heard you found something that had to do with Wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. I've been meaning to thank you. There are a hundred things that need your attention. You didn't have to take the time to help me, and yet you did. If the history you pursue benefits the Wardens, then it was worth it. You've proven yourself to be an honorable woman. Principled. I've great admiration for you. And I've never been more certain in my decision to join you. I would never have guessed that you admire me. Of course I do. You have the world at your feet, myself included. So you take your cue from everyone else? What if they despised me? If that were to happen, I would reject the world for lacking in good taste. And perhaps we could continue as we are. Us against them. Now, we should return to our duties before I get too carried away. He's just... Why, he, why is he so sweet? And there she goes. <laughs> also, his hair pulled back best decision I've ever made. Uh, okay, stop thinking about the handsome bearded man. We have some soldiers to rescue in the Fallowmire. Thank you for coming. Maybe you can solve this mess. Our missing patrols are being held hostage by Avar, barbarians from the mountains. What are they doing in a bog? That's the thing. Their leader, he wants them to fight you because you're the Herald of Andraste. What do they have against Andraste? Well, the Avar think there are gods in nature, as in, the sky has a god and the forest. The Avar say you're claiming to be sent by one, and they'll challenge the will of your god with their own. I think their leader's just a boastful little prick who wants to brag he killed you. I was hoping we could negotiate. I wouldn't count on it. These Avar don't seem to value diplomacy. Getting to our troops won't be easy. You'll have to fight your way through undead. Wait, you're not squeamish about undead, are you? It doesn't matter. I'm not letting the Avar butcher the Inquisition's people. I appreciate it. The Avar are holed up in the castle on the other side of the Fallow Mire. Make her willing, the Inquisition's people are still alive. This might interest you, sir. Mira will probably give in and do some requisitions later. We'll need to look around. Ah, so an apostate has been summoning demons out here. Fun. Watch out, everybody. <laughs> Forgetting that Mira is my primary defensive person now, so she needs to throw a barrier when Solus isn't around. I will remember from now on. I once saw the Empress's ass. Congratulations. <laughs> well, I didn't. I drew it, and someone said it was a good likeness. That's a story about trust. <laughs> you guys are so weird.
that one a little better. I also just love watching Blackwall fight. I mean, I know I picked his abilities, but it's just fun. That breach. It's hard to look away from it sometimes. Right, because you know what it looks like. No, no it doesn't. You know. I can't take Sarah anywhere. Ah, here's the apostate we've been looking for. can't even wear that Grey Warden armor. It doesn't work on Kunari, unfortunately. More undead! Don't waste time on them. Head for the castle. There must be some... Excellent. Herald of Andraste. I've dealt with the Avar. Is everyone all right? Yes, Your Worship. The injured need some rest, but we can return on our own. I can't believe the Herald came for us. I told you she'd come. Of course she did. 
And now, before we head back to Haven, let's go do something fun in Valroyo. Is that her? Here? Shut it. You know the rules about friends. <laughs> of course, she's just standing up on the railing. Um, okay, with some cheats, with some mods, Mira now has a lot of money, so I figured we'd buy this mystery box. Purchased? What becomes of Darabon? Maybe get a real shop? Oh, I gotta interact with the statue. The big one. All right, let's see what new mounts we have. Let all repeat the chant of light. Travel safely. <laughs> Giant nugs. Tiddles Majoris. <laughs> oh, I love them. The Just don't look too closely at their feet. Trust me on this one. It's nightmare fuel. Um, all right, let's go to Redcliffe now, finally. Just gonna swing by and talk to this enchanter first. May I help you? The Inquisition could use the skills of a powerful mage. If I wished to kill others, I would have joined the rebels. How is the Inquisition any better? You got this one, Viv. The Inquisition is our chance to restore order, enchanter. Without it, we'll be no better than apostates. Madame Vivienne, court mage of the Empress of Orlais. I am honored. And if you back the Inquisition, so shall I. My skills are yours. Just give me a moment to gather my things. Redcliffe Village should be just ahead. I want a constant watch on that damned thing. Sound the alarm at the first sign of demons. What's that? We don't know what these rifts can do. That one appeared to alter the time around it. We need to find out what caused whatever this is. Make her have mercy. It's over. Open the gates. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. No one? Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona? If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former Grand Enchanter in the meantime. Something's not right. And I shall we need to talk to the Grand Enchanter. In my arms lies eternity. Uh, even sure I should be here. It's not your fault. It could have happened to any of us. That doesn't help. That's why people hate us. Are you Connor? You've heard the story, I guess. 
I can't believe the Queen thought Redcliffe was the right place to send the mages. I mean, it was nice of her to offer refuge, but I don't think the people here wanted me or anyone like me in this town ever again. You were behind the siege of Redcliffe ten years ago. That's me. The boy with Redcliffe's blood on his hands. Weren't you possessed? It wasn't you who did those things. Wasn't it? I let the demon in. Sometimes when I dream, I remember what happened. I see the death and destruction and it's me. It's all me. How did you end up in the Mage Rebellion? I was living in the Ferelden Tower when the Circles dissolved. I voted against it, but... At first it seemed alright. No one was summoning demons. They just wanted to oversee themselves. But then the Magister came, and... It's wrong what they do in Tevinter. We are monsters. We need to be controlled. If it wasn't for me, every family in this village wouldn't be missing a son, a daughter, a spouse. You're not in favor of the Alliance with Tevinter. Alliance? Is that what they're calling it? That Magister threw my uncle out into the street. He signed us into servitude. This is my home. Redcliffe, Ferelden. No matter what evils I've done, I would never have invited Tevinter here. I need to be going. Please, talk some sense into the Grand Enchanter. Selling out to the Imperium won't win us any friends. We have to find a way to make peace. Maybe bringing Cass and Vivian wasn't the best idea. Good day. It's good to see you. Welcome, Agents of the Inquisition. First Enchanter Vivienne? My dear Fiona, it's been so long since we last spoke. You look dreadful. Are you sleeping well? What has brought you to Redcliffe? We're here because of your invitation back in Val Royale. You must be mistaken. I haven't been to Val Royale since before the Conclave. If it wasn't you who invited me here, who was it? I... I don't know. Now that you say it, I feel strange. Whoever or whatever brought you here, the situation has changed. The Free Mages have already pledged themselves to the service of the Tevinter Imperium. Fiona, dear, your dementia is showing. An alliance with Tevinter? Do you not fear all of Thedas turning against you? As one indenture to a Magister. I no longer have the authority to negotiate with you. Mira is not cool with this. An alliance with Tevinter is a terrible mistake. All hope of peace died with Justinia. This bargain with Tevinter would not have been my first choice, but we had no choice. We are losing this war. I needed to save as many of my people as I could. Welcome, my friends. I apologize for not greeting you earlier. Agents of the Inquisition, allow me to introduce Magister Girion Alexius. The Southern Mages are under my command. And you are the survivor, yes? The one from the Fade? Interesting. Yeah, being Kunari and a mage, she would not trust this Magister at all. You're quite a long way from Tevinter, Alexius. Indeed I am, though I have heard you are no Ferelden either. It seems we are both strangers here. If she could walk away now without raising suspicion, she would. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, friends. I am not surprised you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious, indeed. 
Is this guy serious? Does he actually think we'll work with him? Does that mean you'll lend your mages to our cause? There will have to be. Felix. I'm so sorry. Please forgive my clumsiness, my lady. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. Come to the Chantry. You are in danger. Did the Magister's son give you that? Why would he help you? There's no telling who or what will be waiting for us in that Chantry. We'll be on guard. I don't know. We don't need your kind here. Your Inquisition's just Templars by another name. Funny way to greet a fellow mage. The Vinter's as big a threat as the Templars. You're better off with the Inquisition. Right. And I'm the Empress of Orlais. Magister Alexius wishes only mages to remain in Redcliffe. He will approve of you. He does not approve of me. Many villagers have already left to escape his ire. What does the Magister have against you? He does not like to be reminded of what mages can become. He says all Tranquil must leave Redcliffe, but who would take us in? Well, the Inquisition would. Farewell, then. One moment. You are a member of the Inquisition, are you not? I am an alchemist. You must require potions. If the Magister will not have me here, perhaps I can offer my services. We would be delighted to have you working for the Inquisition. Thank you. While one lives, it is good to believe there is still a use for one's talents. Nice. Well, I think she does think that this is a trap, but she's still going to check it out. She knows that the team has her back. And then they'll leave. <laughs> You're from the Inquisition? I didn't think you'd still be here. Were you really looking to ally with us? Is that so hard to believe? Everyone blames us. The Templars left the Chantry too. That's worse, isn't it? They took an oath. Yet everyone calls it the Mage Rebellion. We're the ones they hate. What choice did we have? Stay and be slaves? There are better ways than war to affect change. I hope you can do something. Tying ourselves to Tevinta. That can't be the right way to end this. I mean, Mira would help if she could, but what is she gonna do? Fiona indentured everyone, and they can't fight to Vinter and the Breach. One catastrophe at a time. Uh, I think you're using your staff wrong. Good! You're finally here! Now help me close this, would you?
fascinating. How does that work exactly? <laughs> you don't even know, do you? You just wiggle your fingers and boom. Rift closes. Who are you? Ah, getting ahead of myself again, I see. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of Minrathus. How do you do? Another Tevinta. Be cautious with this one. Suspicious friends you have here. Magister Alexius was once my mentor, so my assistance should be valuable, as I'm sure you can imagine. You're betraying your mentor because... Alexius was my mentor, meaning he's not any longer, not for some time. Look, you must know there's danger. That should be obvious even without the note. Let's start with Alexius claiming the allegiance of the mage rebels out from under you. As if by magic, yes? Which is exactly right. To reach Redcliffe, before the Inquisition, Alexius distorted time itself. I hope that's less dangerous than it sounds. More. Manipulating time itself? Many have attempted over the ages, but never once succeeded. The rift you closed here. You saw how it twisted time around itself, sped some things up and slowed others down? Soon, there will be more like it, and they'll appear further and further away from Redcliffe. The magic Alexius is using is wildly unstable, and it's unraveling the world. Sure it is. I'd like more proof than magical time control. Go with it. I know what I'm talking about. I helped develop this magic. When I was still his apprentice, it was pure theory. Alexius could never get it to work. What I don't understand is why he's doing it. Ripping time to shreds just to gain a few hundred lackeys? He didn't do it for them. Took you long enough. Is he getting suspicious? No, but I shouldn't have played the illness card. I thought he'd be fussing over me all day. My father's joined a cult, Tevinta Supremacists. They call themselves Venatori. And I can tell you one thing. Whatever he's done for them, he's done it to get to you. Do you have any suggestions? You know you're his target. Expecting the trap is the first step in turning it to your advantage. I can't stay in Redcliffe. Alexius doesn't know I'm here, and I want to keep it that way for now. But whenever you're ready to deal with him, I want to be there. I'll be in touch. Oh, and Felix, try not to get yourself killed. There are worse things than dying, Dorian. Nope. Nope. Now there is a cult that wants to kill her, is obsessed with her. It's just a bad deal all around. I think she's ready to go home, regroup, and then go talk to the Templars. You think they're right? Alexius is setting a trap for us. Alexius reeked of frustration. Strange for a man who seemed in complete control of everything. There are a few other loose ends we can wrap up before we get out of here. I am Sister Tana. May I help you? Are you a Chantry sister? A lay sister only. I work here to help the poor and extend the Maker's kindness to those who need it. It is very busy work, especially in these times, but let me know if I can ever help you. Well, that's a lie. I found the letter you sent a Templar named Corin. What? Shit. You can't prove anything. A letter from a rogue Templar. Nobody is going to care. So, what do you intend to do? Mm, well, Cassandra, can you handle this? Let's see. Impersonating a sister, smuggling, dishonoring Chantry robes. I can think of more if you like. Or you could put your skills to use for the Inquisition. And you'd keep quiet? Nobody else has to know? That will depend on how honest your efforts are on our behalf. All right. I'm in. Seems like the Inquisition is the safer bet these days. I'm actually pretty surprised that Cats would go for that. Seems pretty shady, but hey, we need all the help we can get. 
Please, are you with the Inquisition? As you've wandered, have you by any chance seen a ram that is, um, different? Lord Wolseley wandered off, and he's very special. If you could find him, I'd be most grateful. What makes your ram so special? Well, he's always brought the family luck, and his advice helped us make our fortune. Your ram offered advice? He's a very special ram. Your ram has gone missing. Yes. I'm certain that if he heard his Jimmy missed him, he'd come right back. He's likely at our family's old summer cabin. It's by the lake in the southern hills. If you do find him and send him back, I'd be happy to pay you. I'll speak with you later. If you find my ram, please send him home. The thing she's willing to do for people. Too many people dying for want of simple herbs. My apologies. Can I help you? Are you running short of healing herbs? Yes. We've many injured from attacks by those cursed Templars. I need the herbs to treat people's wounds. It's too dangerous to go hunting through the hills to gather more. I've a list there of the herbs I need. Goodbye. Stay safe out there. A pleasure to see you again. I found some of the herbs you were looking for. Thank you. There are refugees at the crossroads who would benefit from a healer. Of course they would. These attacks by the Templars have endangered countless innocent lives. But if I go to the crossroads to help, I might end up in danger myself. I doubt those refugees would risk their lives for a knife here. Why should I risk mine for them? Oh. We have a... Is this history knowledge? Uh, we'll go with Cass. The Inquisition honors the efforts of all who are willing to help in these dark times. Help the refugees, and we will ensure that you are protected and respected. All right. If the Inquisition soldiers are there, I might be safer regardless. I'll see you at the crossroads soon. Just give me a moment to gather my things. They say a desire demon took the mind of our young Lord Connor. The hero of Ferelden drove the demon away to save him. Make her be praised. Tell me about your people. They say a spirit dwells in a small lake south of the highway. The girls of the village bring it daisies and ask for love, but rarely does it listen. For tis a spirit of valor, not love, and it favors blood lotus flowers. You must see the value in restoring the circles, Cassandra. Provided they fulfill their purpose. Too many have suffered since the Mage Rebellion began. But we cannot ignore the abuses that prompted it. Without change, we risk repeating the events at Kirkwall. Or recreating its opposite. An overly lenient circle is a comparable threat. Kirkwall was lamentable. But it was the blithe misuse of power, not restrictions, that led to the first blight. this ram ah wait stop stop running away i got to talk to you lord wolseley i presume a young man named Jimmy would very much like you to return home. Ah, good. All right, good deeds done. Now let's go finish up with Corporal Vale. I do hope it's not me. You have done amazing work out here. Thanks to you, these refugees are safe, with warm clothes and food in their bellies. The Inquisition might be able to make use of them. If you had a mind to. What are you suggesting? 
we could ask the best and brightest to join the Inquisition. They would serve well. Just as easy to put them to work, or look at the whole thing as an act of charity. The Inquisition can always use skilled volunteers. Having a purpose makes the troubled times easier to bear. And ours is a good cause. We need gold more than a few more scouts or the dubious goodwill of the peasants. Dubious. <laughs> yeah, she's with Blackwall and Cassandra on this one. Some of these people have skills that can help the Inquisition. See if any of them want to volunteer. I'm sure we'll get some good recruits out of it. I'll go now and set things up with the refugees. But thank you again. These people are alive because of you. None of us will forget that. All right, done with the woods. Well, almost done. We're gonna close the rest of the rifts in the hinterlands and then head back to Haven. My dear Cassandra, I am impressed with how well organized the Inquisition was in the aftermath of the Conclave. It was chaos. I would hardly call it organized. Perspective, darling. The Chandri hasn't even found the right vestments for issuing a statement on the Divine's death. Being more flexible than the Chantry is not a difficult goal. Take your victories where you can, dear. 